Three hours later. Anyway, welcome back to Temi Village. Bye, Temi Village. Not yet. I haven't even bought the armor yet, remember? Yeah, but we're on our way out. Dun, dun, dun. So, yes. After so much killing myself. On purpose. On purpose. Selling doggy stuff. I now have... Temi armor. Temi armor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy. And I do not care what people say. I mean, this <laughs> first playthrough, no one's really gonna give a shit. Use. I have. Description of it. Never mind. You donned the Temi armor. Temi armor has been donned. Uh, well, we can put away the. Or we can sell the other crap. Give so me a second. Well, no, you want to keep the doggy. Keep the doggy doo doo. Are you just organizing it? He says. Um, I can sell the old tutu. Already done. And obviously we'll get to you. That's for ourselves. Killer Sands 29 says hi. Hello, Killer Sands 29. This is hi, I'm Hi, I'm Kat, not Temmy. This is Tom. Hi. And now we're back at it again in Undertale, which I have learned a fun fact since we've last played. I wonder if I already know it. Okay. Well, remember how I said that in 2019 it would be our last chance to play Undertale and be within the timeline? Someone pointed out that's actually wrong. Oh? Yes. Oh. <sighs> so, apparently, I'm going to talk about this now while not fighting because I have to concentrate on fighting. Apparently, 2019... The 2010s is when the first human fell down. Yeah, but you also don't know how quickly they fell. And then someone pointed out there is a calendar in in uh, Toriel's house that's from the year 19. It's from the year 2010X, and has a date circled on it. And they state it's a really old calendar. So the truth is, we were never in a season. Oh. Yeah, so I was completely inaccurate. Oh well, it's Undertale. Who really cares? Uh, clean. Scrub me down. No, uh, leave me green. Please. Ow. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Thank you, Tammy Armor! <coughs> yep. Well, at least we can get rid of, uh... Ow! Scrub it Ow! Soap! Soap is deadly! So, uh... Tom, welcome Killer Sands. I already said... I already said what he said. I said hi, and I said hi. Okay. Oh, uh, Killer Sands, could you please tell us how the audio is? Can you hear Tom? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? I heard myself just fine. Well, we're asking the audience. I also have my volume at a lower level, so the echo is nowhere near as bad as you expect it to be. And it was still picking us up. Alright. So, so uh, Tom, do it when we last le left our heroes, and please excuse the part where I, u where I was basically m using dog residue. I'm trying to think of what kind of reference I should do. There's so many good, there's so many good previous leaves. It's the lanterns. Oh, crap. Uh... When we last left our heroes. Ow. Um, 
when we last left our heroes, we are dealing with, uh, we've de- Yep! 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 Yee! Yee! Stop kicking the fox! The fox is not getting kicked! I know you want to know what it says, but you don't need to be violent to it. <laughs> um... We fought a lot of people, and died a lot. Yeah, right, Cat, you can go up and down. Basically, it was beginning of game to Tammy Village. Yes. We have not we've encountered Undyne several times, but have not fought her yet. Not yet. And we have Our died often, so we could get good Temmie armor. Uh, so many often times that the armor would have been so cheap as it was, but apparently Papyrus's deaths don't count. Because you're not technically dying. No, I just get captured. You just get brought to within a inch of your death. Left. There's... Ding. It went... Wah. Also, uh, to give context, first time playing Undertale, but has been a huge fan of it because from watching others. And Tom has been playing Undertale since year four. Since year one. Evan Water! Yeah, I pretty much got, uh, not, not year one, but I, I did, I did take some time before I went and got it. Behind but I've been you. playing it for a while. Ah! 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 <laughs> I wonder who told that flower that in advance. Seven. Seven oh. human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore, dreamer, <laughs> will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the two surface back from humanity and give them back to the suffering and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Dot dot dot. Understand, human? This no. is your only chance at redemption. I've been hanging with Tammy's too much. Can you sp can you phrase it in the term of a Tammy? You're going to die now! I'm okay with this. I understand you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Um... The soul is a concept, a manifestation. You can't really tear it out of a... That doesn't work in this world, where a soul is literally something you can hold. Tell me I can walk to the side. Undyne! I'm ha... I'll, I'm sorry. Undyne! I'll help you fight! With no hands. Huh? Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to our fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Wait. Who's she fighting? Oh! Hey! She makes a squeaky toy noise when you pinch your cheeks. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? What, Tom? I mean, he's all face. You're all face. Now talk to the flower again. You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Can I go into the reeds? No. Let's see. Uh -oh. oh! <coughs> you hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're, we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. It's probably because it's the same wish. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has been seen, who has seen the surface, 
They will return and the return and the underground will go empty. Are they talking about like an angel of death? Well, that's the thing because Turtley told you the same kind of prophecy too. Because either way you look at it, regardless whether you play a pacifist or a genocide ending, that prophecy is technically true. Whether you well, actually technically not. If you do a pacifist ending, you don't succeed. Yo. Some <clears throat> NPCs legitimately will never travel to the above world. Some who just choose not to, and some who physically can't. And if, and the only true way to clear that is if you're the genocidal ending, because you kill everyone, everyone else runs away. No. Not underground anymore. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to tell you something. How did you even get here? Man, what I've mean? never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. <coughs> Undyne told me. I wish this is a really annoying voice. Stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Shelly? Yes? Oh! Huh? Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! How did, literally, how did you fall? Uh, whatever. Gravity. Help them. I did. Hey. Y you, dude, if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Oh, God. He's no hands. I can't fight that. <laughs> He's really good at head Zen headbutt. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Like a digger. Guess being enemies was just as nice, though. Ha <laughs> ha You were we'll just... like an enemy for like three seconds. We'll just have shit. to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. You really should. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. I but... killed them. We didn't kill anyone. This is a non-genocide route. <laughs> Later, dude. No murder. Zero murder. It's a good thing I'm M it's a good thing I'm an unknown gender, otherwise I'd be angry about the dude joke. Oh whatever, you're gone. Is there not supposed to be any music? Yeah, there's no music here. Okay. My mouse is seen. Hide it. Let me through the hole. This should be it here. Yep, this is it. What is it? Oh God! Could you have could could you have any more of an anime open entrance? Seven. I mean, you know who <coughs> she did that with. Seven human souls and King Asgore will be a god. We've been over Six. This. That's how many we have collected thus far. We've been over Understand? This. Shh! I'm trying to do my best anime voice. You're doing not a good job. I know I'm not doing a good job. It's been a few thousand years since I've. No, actually, I watched anime a couple weeks ago. You and me need to watch more random anime. What? You and me need to watch some random animes. No! Through your seventh and final soul, this will be transformed! First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you my tragic tale of our people. Oh, God! I just read a whole bunch of flowers on the way here and some signs. I, I, I get it. It all started long ago. Don't interrupt the monologue. It's just Undyne. Dot, dot, dot. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you st a story when you're about to die? Yeah! Ding! So, anime! You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. <coughs> what? That's a song in the soundtrack. <laughs> Alphys, history Alphys history books made me think the humans were cool. 
with your giant robots and flowery swords women. Okay, I can tell you which two animes you're referencing right now. I can. Uh, Neo Genesis Evangelion or any standard big robot anime. See, most and of my animes involve school. Flowery Swordswoman? Are you watching Revolutionary Girl Utena? Which is a classic anime that I've technically not watched but only seen in gift form. Hey, do you watch any Slice of Life animes? I know, I know those ones. She hates Slice of Life like me. But you? <laughs> You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again? And let me not. Let, and let's not forget your wimpy too good. goody two shoe shtick! <laughs> I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! Actually, those jellos didn't want me to hug them, so... That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. So... Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Hold on, this music's getting a little intense. As in so intense, Tom can't be heard. I mean, it is Undyne. Yeah, it is Undyne. It's not even my favorite version of this song either. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. I have bad things. Okay. My hair is just permanent helmet hair. Tom, check the here. Check the check the audio. Uh, Music's good! Well, yeah, it's Undyne's theme. It's one of the better songs in the game. I know it's good. So, can you still hear the song? Yeah, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do post-editing for when I post it on YouTube. Woo! You probably still will. I still might have to. Wait, where are you putting them? On the tube of you? Like, obviously. But what I mean is, what channel are you putting on a monitor? I... my own channel. Why? I was just wondering. Do you want me to put it on incoming game? Uh, well, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. See. I don't, want to, I don't want to put streams there unless they're relevant streams. There are streams of relevance. It's not really a yes, stream. The, it's gameplay yes, footage. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's still... I, I'm working on it, all right? It's, Second actually, channel. Actually, things is a new thing for me. Yes, it is. We've noticed, Tom. Pat, pat. But I was, like, bringing up the whole... Was the whole reason you made your gaming account was so you could keep your art and the separate? Yeah, of and do re you remember YouTube deleted my ga gaming cha channel for no real apparent reason that I could have? <laughs> well, yeah, but that was the whole reason you did the gaming channel in the first place. I know, but I already have so much cra freaking gaming stuff on my channel anyway with our Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. At this point, fuck it. Yeah, at this point, fuck it. I'm a variety channel now. I'm already. A I mean, I'm starting reviews, so I'm going to be a variety channel. Yeah, I'm basically a variety slash art, a uh, gaming slash art channel, so pff, who cares? Fuck the algorithm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already have the other things to worry about. Yeah, I got enough worries. I'm gonna have to deal with people false claiming freaking Toby Fox's music when I post this up finally. Anyway. Except I'm fairly certain that Toby doesn't really care as long as you're not just uploading his things flat out. No. He's cool with it. No, there's been a lot of pe copyright hawks just doing false claims as of late. They always do that, though. So we're good. Yeah, I'm still fighting TuneCore. Anyway, where were we? Um, Undyne's about to make you some dinner. Your life is about. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. You're right not. now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. About to. Uh, everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. <coughs> now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Yeah, Step hang on a moment. I gotta save real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. I haven't saved in a while. There's a save point right behind you. Oh, good. It spawns when we have this conversation. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> She does not have an elegant woman's laugh. Shut up! It's my anime laugh! This wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Save, this bitches. Stream, this stream is suffering from all these issues. You're filled with- Oh my god! Will you save? Yes. Is that it, then? No more running away. Here I come. Ah! My chest. 
What the heck do I do for green? Oh god. Green is shield. <coughs> oh yeah. She gives you a spear, kind of, and it... you hold it out in front of you and you try and block her attacks. Undyne attack. Well, you don't uh, want to fight her. Challenge or plead? Hmm. Her attacks I... are too easy. The bullets get faster. Oh, fuck. <laughs> as long as you're green, you can't escape. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Ah, oh, good. She knows, she knows my favorite wrestler. The Undertaker! The bullets get faster. Not bad. Then how about this? Uh, I'm good at this! I can do Undyne fights! Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I would stop challenging her. <laughs> plead then? No. Don't plead. I think all she does is just, just sass as you. I don't honestly know. Mercy! Always... It's For just, years, just, we've just, dreamed just of a happy years. ending. Almost got me in the booty! Ah, uh, Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Mercy! And now sunlight is just within our reach. Actually, no, we're quite away from the center. Ooh! Undyne bounces impatiently. Sparing! I won't let you snatch it away from us! She would bounce impatiently. wonder how you'll handle the curveball. We don't talk about the cur what curveball. Oh yeah, her attacks have a curveball after a while. Oh great, and I think of her friends and pounds the ground with her fist. Why do you want okay. to kill your friends? Okay, shown an anime person. Nah, enough warming up. Ow. Ow! Bitch! Uh, you, you're red. You could run away if you wanted to now. I don't want to run away. Wonder what'll run out first. Your health, even with the Temi armor, or Undyne's patient. Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. My kind of woman. With an eye patch, bad things, cool hair, just blue. Dabu dee dabu die. Ah! The only monster fight that you actually have to fight differently. Are you trying to give a hint? Well, and do it now. You, uh, wasted your opportunity. Yeah, 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 shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna love you, one time. Ah. Stop being so damn resilient! Thank you, Temi Armor, for existing! Ah, ah. Skywalker. Where else am I gonna go? Weast? Ah! Hello, ice cubes. Oh, was I supposed to jump on those? No. She's talking like uh, you've done this before, because you were supposed to. Alphys told me humans were determined. Sometimes. Bitch! You found her uh, hook shot. I so hate it's... her hook shot, and it's a curveball. Um, sign flips her spear. I will keep this. Just... just imagine like just tossing that thing up in the air. Sparing. Tom, stop laughing! I can't help, but this is pretty much almost exactly how I handled it my first time. Dying? Yeah, I didn't know about running, so I literally just stayed in the first screen until she eventually overpowered me. Because I didn't have the Tammy armor at this point. I didn't get the Tammy armor until the, the second final boss. Unicycle! She's a fish, so... I guess I'm 
guess that she's not dead. She wouldn't smell like sushi. Ow! Come on, turn me red again! Ow. Thank you! Fling! <laughs> thank, goodness, thank goodness for iframes, huh? We... We I come... So far from her. I don't question it! <laughs> I ex... Stop running away! Uh, I'd rather flee! Fling! He knows you're still red. <laughs> really? Hey! What's up? I wanted to think. You, me, and Undyne should hang out sometime. I think you would make a you would make great pals. Let's okay. meet up at her house later. Click. That's a hint. What's the hint? Fleeing! Oh, look, you're still red. Bye. Sand! You have to the fish. What the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> Armor! So hot! And I the can't fish. give up! Bleh! <laughs> well, it's a water cooler. Some, Take a cup of water. water from a shitty water cooler. Hey, water coolers can have some pretty good water. Uh. Give Undyne water? No, drink it in front of her. Yes. Splish. Yeah, think step on her tongue. Good idea, Frisk. No problem. Look at Where my butt cheeks. <sighs> Hi. How did I get here again? The fuck? Hi. Let's go back. Sassy motherfucker! Welcome to Hotland. Uh, was that the end of the fight? Yeah. Let's go. To, let's go visit her. The virus is there. Where's her house? Just keep going back. Remember, uh, remember, um, um, um uh, Napstabook. She lives next door to him. Not the pink house. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Can you push it? Hi. Bah. Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in that action he mindlessly shook. It's just time-based drivel. Give me something that challenged my deepest reaches of my mind. You. You're young. You still got hope. Heh heh heh. Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. Uh... Push it to the limit. All right, that's the wrong button, idiot. Can you push it off the cliff? No, you can't push it at all. He goes bad anytime you try to touch it. Sensually. I need a good bath today. Yes, I love taking baths in stagnant cave water. It's really refreshing. To whom? The cave bats. These lights are gonna stay on now, right? No. I think they decay slower, but they still go out. You decay slower. We have to go all the way back to Undyne. Yep. Just so we can have the pr proper ending. To her fight, yes.
And then we get to go to Metaton Country. Da, 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 da. So we still have the one viewer? Uh... That's knapsack is blue. It doesn't look like it. Um, where is it? No, to the left. It is the northwest exit, not the west exit, just the northwest. Do not talk to Ducky. Why can't I talk to? You if you want to go for a l really long walk, you can talk to Ducky, but oh. do not talk to Ducky. I don't want to talk to Ducky. Hey, Pappy! What's up? Doing good? Ho ho! The human hat arrives! You are ready for the hangouts with the Undyne? What are you, Starfire? Why did you add the Zwitz text? You I'm... intentionally made him that way because of, you added the word the. I have a plan to make you two great friends! Nyeha, Tom. Nyeha, I was looking forward. I don't... I don't have it in me right now. <laughs> Will you hang out? Okay! Stand behind me, human! Psst. I make brought sure, lamp. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Sup? The golden bone of scone. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You Ooh. bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> that, that, that! Why don't you two come in? <coughs> I'm in. Here, Undyne. My friend brought you brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll uh put it with the others. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's a lot of bones. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Me when I want to escape my personal responsibilities, right there. Whee! Dot dot dot. <laughs> so why are you here to rub your vic to rub your victory in my face to humiliate me even further? I know you have fingers. Is that it? No. Then why are you here? <gasps> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Uh, not really. I just wanted some cool weapon advice, because you have a really cool <laughs> bastard sword over there. I can't wield it, because I don't have fingers, but... He has fingers! Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's no. all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You are the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to, to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. <sighs> he thinks he can be... F I can't be friends with you? <laughs> What a joke. It's not I, a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. You're a fish wearing boots. We can't be friends. Yes, we can. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not going to be friends. We're going to be besties. Oh, God. Please let me go home. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think any of anyone else. I already <laughs> have anyone kidnapping me today. I don't want any more one else kidnapping me. It's the perfect revenge. I fell through some flowers a couple times. Um. Tom, shush up. Why don't you have a seat? Can you even play that piano? Or Let's find out, shall we? One time, Alphys, a friend, came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. I thought Alphys was a she! No, the friend. The friend that Alphys brought over. 
All he did was sed lie seducively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I can admire his lifestyle. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. I bet they love the color pink. I want to I want to joke that it's Aaron. Aaron? Cuz he's the only monster aside from maybe the another a dual monster you fight later that has the handsome aspect that would lay on something seductively and then feed himself. I know you said Aaron, but I thought you were thinking Aaron from the Game Grumps. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm on your piano and get me some grapes. Why did you- why'd you ask me to give you grapes if you just brought your own? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. You're talking about Bleach and a lot of other fantasy animes! Literally any anime with swords. Valid point. Fire Emblem. But then again, that's technically an anime. <laughs> Even Monster Hunter. That's not an which anime. Which is just Japanese, which is technically anime. Right? Um, true. Yeah, I mean, look at this sword. It's about ten times the size of my... Okay, we haven't done talking about this. Yes, ha, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I hate cold food. So Alphys picks up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. We call and that a hide it and escape from evil things. We call that a microwave on my planet. Yeah, but my my, my microwave is a uh, is a uh, frozen in carbonite. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchuck. I how tiny? Because when I saw tiny swords, I was thinking like those cocktail weenie so the cocktail swords. You know what yeah, I'm talking I about. It's, I imagine that's what all their silverware is basically is just that type things, but they're all shaped like those and tools. I don't know what you could use the nunchucks for, probably like a meat masher, but... Yes. But we know that all she has in her things are heated stuff, so I don't think she eats things like meat. Well, maybe she does. We don't know. What do you eat? What do you eat, girl? In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh. Please don't say fish. Fish! Oh, this oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. You don't even use magic. You throw spears. You're a warrior. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Thank goodness there's a me-sized stool here. I can't believe he leaped through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. And by that I mean he lands on a nail and screams for a little bit and I find it funny. You're standing on the t stool. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. From the hot fridge. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. This that looks like fucking table. That, that, that seems like me when people are trying to get up. I'm like, no, no, no. I can do this. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use Give the spear. spear. Uh, sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Can I put the spear down now? I'm no. still holding it. We're using our magic. I'll take I'll take a moment for the water to boil. <coughs> this is the game, people. Can I eat the sword? It just slide whistled. It shrubbed. Shrubby likes the slide whistle noise. It's because one of the easiest noises to make. That's yeah. not a fart. Meanwhile, the, the glass of tea just falls to the middle of the table that she broke. Shh. <laughs> it spills all over your lap. Ah! Three undying. Here we are. Game over. <laughs> yeah, three star undying's fight. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. Oh shit. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. 
just like the just like the water I'm about to give you. It take take a sip of the water. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Frisk learned to fire breathe. <laughs> hey. You know what's kind of strange? You choose that tea? Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. Huh? You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know? I was pretty hot, a pretty hot-headed kid. Kid! She's still a little hot-headed! <laughs> Well, I, ima I imagine she was a lot more hot-headed. Ah. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. You Emphasis fool. on the tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And wow, worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. <coughs> I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how you, to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I have never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train the darks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't, don't tell him. I don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice! I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you! Hey, and I'm he... still holding the spear, can I put it down now? You're not holding the spear, you placed it on the table. And he's ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle! I mean, he did kill me three times. He get ripped into his little smiling shreds. That's but part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Hmm? Like, kill through poison. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? No, I'll get you not. some more. No, it's fine. It's on my lap. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And he's not here to have it! I'm a super saiyan. Super Saiyan fish? You'll have to have it for him! That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that I give you his lesson. We'll become closer than you'll ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. I'm scared. I'd ra should I be doing the Papyrus voice? For the food. Oh, out of my hair. Let's start with the sauce. Ha! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them in the dust with your fist. Mash that button. Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. <laughs> oh my god, stop petting the enemy! My favorite line of Undyne, right here! This is my favorite line! For you, all... I was playing with dogs, okay? <laughs> How you beat them. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, it's just like one of my favorite lines and I love this line, I don't know why! Tom, stop petting the enemy! But, I am the enemy. That means you're petting yourself, you weirdo. Uh, I'd rather do it myself than let someone else touch me. And our channel just got dark. <laughs> it's a self-confidence thing. What? Actually, it's done. I'll show you how it's done. Nyaga! She pulls out a boulder from her pocket and throws everything onto the counter. 
Uh, we'll just scrape these into a bowl later. Why was there bananas in the tomato sauce? Yeah, why did she even pull out banana? Carrot, I can not even, uh, I can, no. The only thing that should have been there should have been tomatoes. And herbage. Yeah, but you can add seasoning <sighs> later. And garlic and onion. Yeah, but those are seasonings. You can add those after you put the sauce in, you know. You gotta have some. Uh. But for now, huh, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just bought, but I just buy store brand. Ain't I cool? I cleaned my face already. They're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. Fiercely, carefully. Fiercely or carefully, Tom. Um, I was, I was all in the. I, I did everything as rough as I could. You throw so everything I, I, into the I, part I as hot as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Screw yeah! Box. I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it. Press Z repeatedly. <laughs> stir harder! 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 My C button's gonna die. My keyboard is. Ah, uh, let fire. me do it. <laughs> that's the stuff. That's not stirring. That's stabbing. All right, for now the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove stop symbolize your passion. Let it be your hopes and dreams into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. I ruin hopes and dreams. Left, you fool. Left. You fool! Hotter! One way. Hotter! Ugh, let me do it for. Do it! See? This is how. Uh. Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Flint, you're all covered in soot. Frisk. And it's not frisk. It's cat. <laughs> so what's I next? Said, Scrapbooking? Flint. Friendship it's bracelets? Mother, mother three reference. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm kidding. I really screwed this up, didn't I? Oh, who am I kidding? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. You're my waifu. Your waifu, maybe. Yeah. And my I mean, waifu. I mean, Toriel's more my age, but Undyne's more character personality that would best compliment me. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means we can destroy you. I can destroy you without regret. I'm still in your house. Uh, I've been defeated. My house in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out, both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. God, this is freaking my hero academia all over again. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah. Uh, fake attack. Well, we don't, you pretend to swing at it while you're might. What? That was the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I only know you're just a wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Papyrus? Are we talking about Papyrus? No, we're talking about Asgore. Listen, human. It seems like you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human swords. 
souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now get the hell out of this flaming house. It's your house. Well, that was fun. We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, something else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk!